The UTEP Miners football team are 5 and 1. I repeat, 5 and 1. ABC 7's Nate Ryan is calling it a renaissance. For extra depth tonight on why you could witness history just by heading to the Sun Bowl Saturday night, let's bring in sports reporter Nate Ryan. Nate? That's right, Eric. I'm a romantic guy. Of course, it's a renaissance here on Sun Bowl Drive. The UTEP Miners out to their best start since 2010. Look, those of us who have covered the team have had a hunch that this year, year four of Coach Dana Dimble's tenure in El Paso, would start to bear fruit in the win column, and that it certainly has. It started in the opening week of the season with a 30-3 thrashing of rival New Mexico State in a game that was really over after the first quarter followed by a win against Bethune-Cookman. UTEP then took a loss at mid-major power Boise State, but then three straight wins over New Mexico, Old Dominion, and then last week at Southern Mississippi. None of these are big-name programs, but at the end of the day, you play the schedule and you play it to win. The road win this past weekend at Southern Miss really telling as far as how special this team could really be. So where, folks, is all this sudden success from? For the UTEP Miners, that answer, really not that difficult. Like if you've watched this team, new defensive yeah, coordinator Bradley Del Pivido has completely changed the makeup of this defensive side of the football. Already through six games this year, the Miners totaling more sacks and interceptions, as you take a look at the numbers behind me, than last year's eight-game season in total. There's multiple guys on this unit who could be NFL players, but the leader, Coach Pivido, as I talked about, taking over for Mike Cox, the biggest change. Here was Coach Dana Dimmel on what Pivido has changed within the culture. Very aggressive with his schemes, but he's smart about it too. He's not over aggressive. I mean, he's, he's aggressive when you need to be aggressive and not aggressive when, when you need to be stable. And he's done a really good job of calling games and managing games. So UTEP here sits at 2-0 in the Conference USA West standings. This start, the 2-0 start in conference play, the best start for UTEP in 13 years. You see the usual suspects, UTSA and UAB. The Miners will play them later on in the season. You need six wins to get bowl eligibility. The Miners already have five in total. They're one away from that. But if you pull up the upcoming schedule here, who the Miners have coming up, this Saturday at home against Louisiana Tech, with the uh, separation that they've had at the top of the uh, standings, I'm looking at this schedule here and looking at the records. It could be special as far as, I'm not talking bowl eligibility, but maybe a conference championship. You get a win here against Louisiana Tech on Saturday, a team that's going to rack up some wins down the road. Coach Dimmel might be thinking the same thing. Now, four games above 500. What would it mean to get to five games then above 500? Maybe you got to start thinking about, hey, we can win this conference. Right. This is, this is a game that gives us an opportunity to put ourselves in a position to do that, right? That's how I look at this game. If we can be blessed enough to win this football game, it puts us in the upper echelon of the conference and gives us a great chance to, to make a run at that. But again, if we do win it, we got to turn back around the next week and go back to the 1-0 and o mode because you can't think in the big picture. you got to think day to day. Which brings me to my ultimate point. How can we help this special UTEP Miners team? A bowl game one win away. We're talking conference championships all of a sudden for the UTEP Miners football program. Uh, a, f a foreign sound here. The attendance numbers. We need to show up. We need butts in seats at the Sun Bowl. We talked about the importance of that Louisiana Tech game. It's not like we haven't done it before here now. Come on, folks. 2006, 2008, 2009. That's about a decade ago. The Sun Bowl fits over 46,000. We're right around that number right there. And look, I get the numbers and the wins. that They affect the attendance. But look at this number. right? We're 5-1 and one here. That's the same win total that we see right up there. Uh, UTEP has even given away cash to go to these games. Well, look, at, look at what they were doing uh, last week for the Old Dominion game. They were throwing money at people just to come to these games. Uh, the players, the coaches really feed off this energy in the stands. I'm talking third down. It really makes things difficult for the offense. Coach Dimmel and a lot of the UTEP players were talking about the same thing. But this is, the nut, this is where we come in right here, folks. This is the call to action from me. You want a winning football program, you got to act like it. And UTEP Miners, this year's team, deserves it. They have it in the record. Guys, I'll bring you in on this one. That's my call. That I, I, I hate to play PR guy now, but the Miners need our help, and they need it now. You know what, Nate? I, you know, it, it helps the players, but it also helps the broadcaster. I'm just saying, <laughs> a big crowd gets the broadcaster excited, too. I, yeah. I don't know who that might be. That's but, you exactly know. It makes my job you gotta easier. you got to ask, what's yeah. it going to take? 
Well, what's it going to tell? Uh, listen, I mean, last weekend uh, or two weekends ago in the home game against Old Dominion, the attendance was sitting around 13,000, but we can get it over 20, 25,000. Uh, we've got a beautiful facility over here at the Sun Bowl, and with how important of a game this is against Louisiana Tech, you win this game, not only does it get you to bowl eligibility, but something possibly even more special down the road. You want a winning program, guys? you got to act like it. And if that doesn't sell you, I don't know what will. Maybe the $1,000 for every UTEP touchdown given away to a fan, $500 for every field goal. Heck, you could go away in the green.